Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabax. In this tutorial, we are connecting our Minecraft server to our Tabax web store. In our last tutorial, we looked at packages. Inside of our packages, we can set up commands to run. Those commands need to be sent somewhere. In this case, our Minecraft server. There are different versions of Minecraft and also different platforms to run your plugins or mods on. For most of these Minecraft versions and mod platforms, these steps will be exactly the same but files or folders might be in slightly different locations. In this example, we are using a Minecraft Java version running the Spigot framework. Under integrations, we can find our game servers, automatically deliver in-game products on your game server by connecting your web store via a official plugin, Archon or MySQL. Let's click on connect your first game server. We are using the plugin, so let's click on continue. We can then name our server, if we already created packages, we can then select what packages we want to associate with this server. We can also select all and then click on continue. Here, we first need to find the plugin that suits our server. In my case, you can see that Spigot is installed. So I will be using the Spigot slash bucket version. Also make note that there are post and pre 1.13 versions for bucket. Make sure that you use the correct version depending on what Minecraft version you're running. We can then find our plugins folder drag our downloaded plugin inside of our plugins folder. And then when we start our server, it should automatically create a folder. So the plugin is downloaded and we placed it inside of our plugins folder. We now need to link it using our secret key. So let's copy this command. We're then going to run the command from our console. Let's press enter. You can see here, it says this server is now registered as server main survival server for web store mc2e which is very confusing but this is the correct name of my server and also my store this means it's now successfully connected when i start typing you can see it is recommending these commands and if we run slash bycraft we can see that there are no errors just to double check we're checking our console again also no errors so everything is working properly we can then click on continue and this will save our server it's definitely possible to have multiple servers so make sure you name each individual server correctly so you always know exactly what server is what. When creating a package and adding a game server command as a deliverable, we can now select our server from our game servers list. If you have multiple servers, you can select what command needs to be run on what server or servers. And of course, you can mix these game server commands with other kinds of deliverables. If you're trying to connect any other game or platform, take a look at our channel or take a look at our documentation and we should be able to help you out. Hopefully this was helpful and as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store. If you're not done watching yet, you can click here on the right for our latest release or on the left for something that we think suits you best. If you think I want even more, of course, feel free to subscribe. This way you will be notified when we release new content every Friday. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.